and we're back. Today I'm going to be making a, a challenge coin holder for my wife. Um, it's going to be one of the things that I'm going to try to replicate, maybe sell. Um, it's going to be a Space Force logo and I came up with like kind of a unique way to display the coins. So uh, we're going to get this cut down to size and milled down um, and then we'll get to making it. So we've gotten the wood cut. Uh, initially, we got it milled, uh, both planed and jointed. Um, so now this piece is going to be cut in half and glued up. Uh, this is going to be the main part of the car for the design. So we'll get that uh, cut in half and glued up. this uh, all sanded down and kind of ready to get carved. Let's make sure we know the right thickness. We'll get it going. Almost done too. All right, over here, what we got going on? All right, so we want change this to 0 0.83. Let's go 0 0.825. All right. So what we're gonna have to do now? So I, I have this broken down into two cuts. Um, what you're seeing here, using a 1 8 inch bit to rough out most of the material, and then a 30 degree V bit to do the detail. And then I have a cut line around this uh, that I'll use the 1 8 inch bit on as well, but I'll do that as a secondary carve. Let's go down a few steps. where I want it. I can like a hair that way. Like that. Move the hair down on the Y axis.
Dun dun dun. Are we happy or are we sad? Let's say we're happy. All right, we are done with this carve. And not too bad. Get this bit changed out. And then keep this thing going. This is done. We're going back to carbon. That. So now we're going to go over to the carve. And now that that is all finished, I'm going to highlight everything. The cut depth to zero. And then I'm going to click on this outside path. We're going to have that cut all the way through. That's what our cut should be looking like. And we're going to get this bit out of here. And now it's a cut through. So we'll get that changed out and get the cutting once again. We keep moving with this coin holder. Kind of looking at these two pieces of wood. Uh, this one's going to be my base, and then this one's going to be the two other elevated coin racks. Uh, this piece here is four and seven eighths, so I have it marked at two and three eighths, and then I will cut to the side of that so that each piece is two and three eighths, and use one eighth inch of the blade. Uh, to cut down the middle of this. this uh, base cleaned up and ready to get glued on fill this hole here just a little bit of quick set glue It's really uh, almost done with going on and off. 
Bottom's got this little bit here, but it's for my wife, so I'm not gonna fix it. <laughs> and get some sanding done, and then uh, look to getting the Space Force logo glued on. plan is to get this on here. That looks good. And I know my desktop is available. Blue here. Push that down. I feel like that looks fairly good, huh? So that's where we're going to put it. Alright. 
kind of the same thing. I'm gonna erase these a little bit more before I glue. So what do we want to do this? Glue down or glue up? Let's say we glue this and spray that. What do you say? That's what we're going with. <laughs> My dog didn't like that. All right. Bam. Not too shabby. Let's get some oil put on this. Get it all cleaned up. And uh, see what the finished product looks like. Pressure. The old walrus furniture oil. Throw all these little cracks first. gonna go on it for today I'm gonna let it dry for about a day and uh, see if it needs another coat otherwise that's pretty much all she wrote on this guy I think it looks pretty slick for a prototype I like the uh, different levels and the angle with it kind of like how it turned out 
So next time you see this, you'll either have coins or I'll be putting another coat of oil. Thanks for watching.